I mean, look, look. There's my foot. There's a baby. So, welcome to another vlog. It's a very special one because it's been two years since I started vlogging, although I know two halves of those years I didn't release anything, but I was still vlogging, so it still counts. But the reason why I mention is because if you saw the last vlog, my new camera's coming today. It's finally time to upgrade this one. You know, it's broken and battered. It's got, you can see there, that is the shutter in the corner because it doesn't open for properly or close properly sorry and it's got a broken screen and it's got marks on lenses which sometimes you may have seen in the sun so it's finally time to upgrade this one's done me well but it's you know it's battered and bruised it's time to retire it and get the new one so i'm excited but anyway it's time to go and get emma she's coming over for the night and then tomorrow we're going back to birmingham to visit the kitty cafe again because emma loves it and i do too ah so we've just been doing some shopping we're going to make some nice i can't remember what it's called do you remember what it's called it's singaporean Singapore meal. We'll have a look when we get home. But for 30 days wild challenge, I think what we're going to do is have a picnic-ish oh, yeah. and feed the birds. Well, you weren't wrong, Emma. The birds were going to come back and eat your pasta. Of course they were. Oh, look at them. There we go. 30 days wild. Done. We took photos, but we started eating. Sorry. We did oh, that. look at that though, with the egg and it's running into it. I have to get so the name. Big. I have to get the name because I forgot what this was. There we go. So that's what we had. Singapore Nasty Goreng. And that's what it's supposed to look like. And oh, it was quite nice. Unfortunately, ours wasn't very warm though. But oh, it was nice. So here it is. This is the Canon PowerShot's big brother. The Canon M50. So let's do somewhat of an unboxing. So if this actually works and charges up tonight, I'll probably use this for the cat cafe tomorrow. And this is it. So it's actually a little bit heavier than the one I've got at the moment, but that's not a problem because it's got more different bits on it. And this one, what I like about it is it's got the shoe mount on the top and it's also got an external 3.5 millimeter jack, which means I can actually get a microphone, put it on top and have much better audio. This is the new vlog camera. So unfortunately we have to say goodbye to the Canon G7X Mark II. I'm going to miss you little camera because tomorrow we start using the next vlog camera. Yeah, so it's time to retire the Canon G7X Mark II. It's been a very big pleasure, and unfortunately, camera, I will not be seeing you in the next adventure. So sadly, we didn't get a chance to go to the Kitty Cafe because Emma's not feeling too good, but we're going back in June, and we might be bringing purple cookies as well. July. July, we're in June. So what we've decided to do as well is come for a walk near, sort of halfway between here and Northampton. And up there, because apparently this place is very Norse inspired, is that right? And there is the garden of the forest, I might have to zoom in on that one. Oh look, there's geese! Oh look! They know, they know it's coming. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh look at him! Oh they're not Canadian geese, I'm used to Canadian geese. Hello sir. Hello. There you go, there's some Cheerios for you. Enjoy your Cheerios. Oh, oh, they're coming. The hordes are coming. So this is part of our 30 days wild challenge. It's explore a new green patch. Hi guys. Look, buddy. You've got a lovely neck. Uh, what have you done, you? I don't know. But this is the place where we're at. It's like a boating lake. It's really nice. Peaceful. Oh, it's still starting to rain, so it's slightly annoying. Can I have one? No, seriously, can I have them all? <laughs> of course you can, look how cute they are. <laughs> so I usually... how the mum's not bothered anymore that I'm feeding them. Well, that's what, they must be really well fed because usually you're not allowed to come close enough, but these guys have come towards us, so it's fine. I mean, look, look. There's my foot, there's a baby. Well, there we go, that's a new wildlife patch to look at, and there's loads of geese. I don't know what these ones are called, I want to find out. Because I like geese. Grey geese? Hi, Greg Geese. Oh, there's a mallard. There's a, a plucky looking mallard. We're all going on a summer holiday. Gonna stay on the pond for a week or two. Lake. Lake. Week or two. So, for today's 30 Days Wild Challenge, what I've done is I've come down to my local patch. This is where we did the uh, photo hunt a few days ago. But this is where I'm going to be sitting and reading my book. Still reading the second to last widget book. I think it's the second to last anyway, but I'm nearly finished. Where is it? Let me show you. Uh, the grey pages there, they are actually uh, parts of the next book, so I'm only going to read up to up to there, but yeah, nearly finished. So don't know if I'll finish it today because it is quite cold. There's a black cloud coming over, 
but I'll sit down and read as much as I can. Hopefully, maybe see some rabbits. Well, I'm done. I didn't see any animals. I heard loads of birds over there in that sort of bushy bit, but it's really cool. I've not even seen one person in like the half an hour I've been down here. It's been great, but heading back now because that looks ominous. Very, very ominous. Oh. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool, it's really nice. It's been really wet the last few days, so I guess it's just come out. But anyway, I just finished the last classroom training for the cinema, and I decided, because it's such a nice day, it's been really wet and horrible the last few days, but since it's a nice day, I thought I'll come down by my patch, because that is 30 day wild challenge today, is to sort of introduce you to my, my green space, which is, whoa, there's a little bird. Birds everywhere. Uh, yeah, but it's basically, it's made up of wetlands. You see, there's a little river here that comes through, goes straight through sort of my patch. And it's also made up of a lot of farm la farmland as well. But yeah, I thought I might see what I see on my way back. It's really nice. I mean, I don't know if you can hear me, but see the road is there and you've got two rivers on each side, which obviously used to be one. But this is one of my favorite spots, just because you can look out over the lake and you've got a nice walk down there, which is usually where we do a lot of our filming. We've actually filmed underneath this bridge once as well for an old Mother's Day video, but I like sitting up here, especially those white birds. I don't know what they are, but they've got like a black face and white feathers, so I need to Google that because they always sit up here on this bridge and they always scare them when I come for my run. So today, if you didn't actually know, it's the summer solstice, which is like the longest day of the year where it's the most sunlight. And what we're actually doing is we're going to some of Dad's friends mm -hmm. and they're doing a pagan wedding because they're pagan. And apparently they do the whole like ceremony where you put the sort of ribbon around the hands and link them together, which is very cool. So, which we've never seen before, no, so it'd be interesting. It is indeed. You're looking very nice, Mum. Thank you. Thank so you. Thank you. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> We can't see you. <laughs> you do look nice in the back though. But they're actually getting married outside by a lake and oh, she's gonna turn up on a boat. I'm gonna hopefully try and film it. They have geese. They have geese purple cookies, look. That means this is the third breed of geese I've seen this week. Wow. Canadian, great foot, and whatever these ones are, white ones. <laughs> so this is where they're actually getting married then. It's a lovely lake. Look at how big the lake is, it's so long. It's more like an elongated river. I don't know if it actually ends. I might have to go and... Should we go look down there? Okay. We ain't got long, we ain't got long there. But look at the geese! I'm so excited about the geese. That's the most thing I'm most excited for. So the first tradition thing we've seen is we've been given these two pieces of paper and a bit of string. We've got to write down a wish that we have for the happy couple. One's going to go on a tree with a string and the other one's going to get burnt. Yeah, I mean, that's it's really sweet. It's a really good idea, isn't it? It's a really good idea. I like it. Yeah, but they're Don't going to get tied to that tree over there as well, which is where the uh, pagan altar is. Oh, this is cool. We've got bird seeders, confetti. But won't it, won't, won't it hurt though? I hope not. <laughs> oh, that's nice though. I like the fact I've got the least as well. I can put some in yours if you want. Don't be nice. <laughs> so we're just at the wedding. We can't really film much because obviously it's a private affair. But Joel's turned up. I didn't. I was surprised. I didn't know if he was coming up because I know he knows them. But Hayden was supposed to be here too. But he's in uh, Birmingham getting drunk because he thought it was tomorrow. But I'm trying to film what I can. Obviously can't do too much. Got a few bits. But I actually am going to show you the lake because the sun's shining over it. It's really pretty. And I think later is actually a fire procession. I think we're here for that, but we'll see. Oh, but this is nice. So this is where they actually had the pagan ceremony. It's like the altar. It was really cool. They had like a, I think I took some videos. They had like a ring of um, sort of like seeds and stuff around the, here. And they've got us to write these messages. And some of them are going to get burned. Some will be tied to the willow. Oh, it's really nice. I think it's a lot more intimate than what people usually are used to. But oh, really nice. But here's the lake. It's quite violent. And it's quite, it's quite violent <laughs> actually, yeah. Oh, it's lovely though. Tell you what. Pretty good place, this. Very pretty. It's pretty. So at the wedding yesterday then, we had a few things that we could do. Uh, when we were sitting down to eat dinner, there was like these little pits where you can take uh, origami sheets. So me and Pepper Cookies both made a pigeon each. And the other thing they had as well, which I think the florist set up, was actually this like, like you create your own floral headband. And Pepper Cookies actually did really good. She started off with the headband here and then I have to sew on each individual piece. So she did all the green stuff first and then she added on the flowers and it actually looks amazing. It looks very Roman or Greek. But anyway, that was actually the challenge, the 30 Days Wild Challenge for yesterday. It was to attend a Druid wedding because nature was very important to them. The willow was very important to the ceremony. And instead of confetti, we had a birdseed to throw them, which was quite fun. 
never heard that before. And one of the uh, wedding favours on the table as well is actually a little pack of wildflower seeds. So what we thought we'd do, there is a nice message on there, but I'll put that on my Instagram if you want to check it out. But what I thought we'd do for today's 30 Days Wild Challenge, because it's perfect timing, is to plant the wildflower seeds. Hopefully they grow. I don't know if it's too late in the year to do it, but we're not going to keep them to next year anyway, so, so let's go and plant them. Pepper cookies, you come in? But first things first, we've got to clear some of the debris from all this soil, but we've got to be careful of the snails, because the other day there was a snail, but there's a snail over there now. I don't think it's the same one, but we'll have a look out for the snail. All right, go when you're ready then. Yours can go on this side here. I'll put mine there and put the other two on there later on. So, go when you're ready. Okay, so just sort of... Oh yeah, because you've got the... I think there's sunflower ones, maybe? Maybe. They have to go tip down first. Oh, there's things. another bug on the end. Where are they coming from? Where were you when I did my survey? I found a snail last time, and I found like a worms, whatever that is. Oh, is that a baby... Oh, that might be a baby ladybird, is it not? Mm, no, I don't think so. Oh, it's gone now. Okay, so let's put some of the bits over here then. Careful of the buggies. You just buried them. That's okay, that's what they're like. So that's pretty much all we have time for today. Just quickly go through the 30 Days Wild Challenge for today, and that is to get some more bird seed because we've run out of the seed feast and mum wants robins in the garden and apparently they love black sunflower seeds. But that's what I've done. I also filled up the uh, bird feeders too because they were pretty empty. But that concludes this vlog, so the only thing left to say is I will see you in the next adventure.